Hey guys, we got another new video for you. No rants this time. Every other video I'll do a good, you know, little rant on something. Look at this. Oh, the video's a whole rant. This is the new Traxxas X-Max 8S. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, well, I've seen a 4 billion videos. What's your video going to show me that other videos might not? Well, who knows? Because I didn't watch any of them because I really don't care. Not that I don't care. I just, I don't care. You know? I, I, it's tough. I do care. So, um, we've all seen this truck. So let's not go into too, too much about, you know, the composition of it or, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, let me get this body off here. Hold on. There we go. There we go. I love the way the body goes on and off. So truth be told, we, um, we don't really actively stock the X Maxims. And I know a lot of guys in internet land are like, why? It's such a cool truck. It is a really cool truck. I just... I feel there is some better values out there, like low ZDB5 XLE, you know, I think that's what it is. Desert Buggy, yeah, fifth scale XLE, there's so many. You gotta be in the military to understand all these codes and whatever. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you the, the X-Max now. I really like the S8S version. I, I feel they should have kind of maybe done this in the, in the beginning. Now, we actually had a really good customer and he wanted us to upgrade his 6S to the 8S and they no longer make the upgrade packages available. So we kind of said to him, hey, why don't you use the old one for parts and we can do, you know, we can build you a new truck. And he was like, okay. So we got some really cool parts on this and I just wanted to showcase some really cool stuff. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get too involved with the truck, but I'm going to show you kind of a couple of nifty things. So we went with our friends at Atomic. We love you guys at Atomic. You guys make, I mean, they're the guys who supply us with all of our Venom batteries, chargers, high-end dual chargers, you name it. And they came up with this really good line of aluminum stuff. Now, the aluminum stuff is a little more generic. Um, I don't want to say Intigy or, you know, stuff like that. But I find that it is a basic aluminum part. Like, when you're going to hot racing or, for example, a brand like STRC, which I know doesn't do a lot of stuff yet. But, uh, for example, a brand like Hot Racing, when you see their links and how they're made, like upper and lower arms, the stuff is, is just, it's rife with little extra detail, okay? And... Does it really matter? It really doesn't, okay? Like, these are aluminum parts. They're built really friggin' tough, and it's really cool. What I loved about the Atomic parts is I found the red anodizing to match the red on the truck really, really well. I'm really excited about that because I like when parts go together. Now, back in the day, uh, especially when we did a lot of ordering through Intigy, and we still do now, you know, you get a set of upper and lower arms or they'd be like different colors of blue or red or green it was annoying so we got some nice knuckles and hubs in the front we went with the aluminum hexes which these are 24 mil we really like that so that means you could do hpi you know baja style wheels which is great the only thing with baja wheels is they can get a little heavy so just you know be cautious on that before you want to do the upgrade okay um we also went with their upper and lower fixed arms uh hot racing's making an adjustable i, I think that's cool but because it's a basher truck, I don't know if it needs it, but again, do any of these trucks need any of this stuff? The answer is no. I like that they have the little pin retention um, little bits here, okay? I don't know the exact terminology for it, but let's just call them pin retainers. They came in aluminum as well. What's great with the Atomic stuff, and I'm giving them a huge shout out here, is the fact that they came with all the extra pins and hardware and screws. Like, I have tons of extra stuff. Thank you. Good job. That's nice. Okay, so we can go on to the rear here. Um, we got the rear hubs here. Uh, sorry, the hub carriers. Uh, we went with the, the hexes all the way around, obviously, okay? And uh, upper and lower arms. I found all this stuff installed really easily. I did the entire truck, okay? I've never actually done the arms on one of these before, and I did an RPM rear bumper support here, okay? Get a little love to RPM. I did everything in about two hours, two and a half hours. And I worked on this like nonstop diligently and I've never worked on it before. One thing I can say about this truck, better than any other large scale vehicle I've ever worked on, ever, is I love how easy it was to work on. The only thing I had to remove that was a little bit of a pain in the butt was the rear end, but I had to replace this rear skid. But we're talking two screws here, one, two, two screws in here, one, two. The whole back end pops off. I had access to all the pins, everything. The rear end, the front end, I mean, it takes me longer to do front and rear end stuff on a Yeti, on a 110 scale, or even the 105 scale. This thing was a blast to work on. I like it just for that. Now, we're going to do more upgrades to this later on. Maybe get some new steering links in there, a little bit heavier duty steering linkage. I like plastic. You know I like plastic? Because it gives a little bit. 
and it's still heavy duty like it's like a little eye beam so thank you atomic for for coming out with some really good parts we're really happy we know the customer is going to be happy with it if you guys have questions about the parts uh let me know one thing i'll tell you too all the parts everything aluminum a lot of times scares me because we run into things like binding um issues like where things won't move as smooth okay are you gonna have issues um and when i'm talking issues like just things get bindy crunchy you can hear it this is beautiful okay it is so smooth i used a marine grade grease on all the pins okay i like grease and everything's loctite with blue loctite even little short screws long screws i don't care all the parts were threaded where they needed to be threaded in the atomic stuff as well which we're not seeing in other brands but the biggest thing that i look for is bearing fitament this has got to be one of the best next to hot racing this has probably got to be one of the best bearing fitament um uh, aftermarket upgrade parts i've ever put on like the hubs the front and rear hubs these bearings i grease the outside of them it's really important to do that and i used a socket put the socket on the bearing that's about the same size you don't want to press on the little black area in there you want to make sure you have pressure on the silver area okay or you can use a washer a big washer and use a little soft hammer and just kind of tap them in okay excellent fit but i can also get things in and out a lot easier too um so if the bearing went in a little crooked you pop it out and try again so anyways there you guys go a brand new x max 8s with uh, all kinds of aluminum goodies look at look at this thing look at the oh man loving the aluminium loving it okay guys have a great day i'm sure we're gonna do lots more custom work we'll do new videos when when we think that we're gonna do on you know we'll, if we got something newsworthy we'll put it out if you guys got any questions let us know check out atomic we get all their stuff you know tracks us upgrades if you need anything you let us know all right guys